People say pleading guilty once apparently was not enough for a former Hamburg high school teacher. A court ordered the teacher to stop contacting a teen she admitted to having a sexual relationship with, but authorities say the teacher didn't listen. WFMZ's Katira Winfrey is live at the Berks County Services Center with more tonight. Katira? Robin Wendy Holly Smith is accused of using an alias to contact her former student by using a messaging app. Officials say the pair sent love messages and sexual content to each other. Now, these latest charges come about a month before Smith was slated to be sentenced for her last offense. A former Hamburg area high school teacher already waiting to be sentenced for admitting to having a sexual relationship with a student is in trouble again. Holly Smith is accused of contacting a teenager she admitted to having a relationship with, even though a court ordered her not to. People who care told, got, got in touch with us and, and they said, we believe they're having contact again. Smith was arrested in October after officials say her former student's parents found evidence of the relationship. She resigned and pleaded guilty to a count of institutional sexual assault in March. Authorities say Smith used an alias to communicate with the teen through the messaging app, WhatsApp. An unnamed witness found the messages, took screenshots, and forwarded them to detectives. She has been arrested, pled guilty, and is pending sentencing, and she still is involved in the same behavior. It sends up a lot of red flags. Officials say this is a prime example why it's important to pay attention to your child's electronic activity. The biggest tip I have for parents, become their followers. Natasha Terzinski with Safe Burke says parents can keep a closer watch with apps like NetNanny and Kaspersky Safe Kids. Most major cell phone providers also offer specialized plans. Parents can monitor. They can download apps that will block content from phones and make it safer. When police went to confiscate Smith's phone, she instead gave them a different phone. Now, the district attorney says because she likely violated that court order, she could have her bail revoked, sending her back to jail. Reporting live in Reading, Katira Winfrey, 69 News.